Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to select colors for all of your pencil color drawings. So let's get started. So I'm going to show you two methods today and first one is on the spot color selection which is relatively less time consuming but you will have to repeat the whole process for every new drawing. Ok so first of all you need to select the reference image that you want to work with. It can either be in printed form or you can also use your tablet or smartphone. Whatever suits you the most. Then select the type of color pencils you want to use for your drawing. I'm going to use polychromous here. Now you need to hand pick different shades of the same color family which you think are similar to the selected portion. For example this middle portion has different hues of orange and yellow colors. So I'm gonna select all the colors which could be used in that specific area. And the beak and face have different hues of black and gray. So I'm gonna select all the related colors and so on. Now we have these random sets of grays, blues, yellows and greens. And now to shortlist the colors you have to make a color palette or chart from all the selected sets along with their respective color codes. Just like this. Then you need to fold the paper along the color swatches like this and slide this color palette over the reference image to match and pick the right color tones. For this green portion you can see that only 168 is a perfect match and for 173 we will see later on if it can be used or not. But all the other shades are of no use here. Now let's match and shortlist the colors for this center yellow portion. And as you can see that triple one is not matching at all with the reference image. And 109 is a perfect match for the lighter fur part. So we will keep this one. And for the darker fur we will see whether 108 or 184 will be used later on. And when you are done with the color selection process go ahead and pick out all the colors which are not useful for the drawing. And place them back in the box to avoid any confusion. And there you have all the necessary colors you need for your current artwork. And by the way you can get access to our premium content and support this channel through Patreon. You can sign up through different membership levels and get access to all the outline and grid references etc. We have an ever growing library of hundreds of exclusive and real time tutorials. And you will also get access to 4 new tutorials every month. You can also post your artworks in our active community of patrons and participate in our weekly critique sessions where I give my honest and positive critiques on your artworks. So you can improve your skills and get better with your drawing. Visit the link in description and become a premium member today. Now the second process is relatively time consuming for the first time but you can use it again and again for all of your future drawings. So all you need to do is find a hard chart or card paper like this. The weightage should be around 300 to 350 GSM so that it lasts longer and doesn't tear apart with the passage of time. And then use your scale and pen and make these type of large rectangular boxes on it. So first of all you need to arrange your colors according to their respective color family or gradient. And then make a color palette or color chart using the colors you've just arranged. Pick up each color individually to avoid mixing of the colors. And use a dark gel pen or ballpoint pen to label each color with their respective color code. It's going to take some time but believe me it will make the color selection process for your future drawings way more easier and less time consuming. Ok now you can cut the scales out from the rectangles you've made in the star to get separate color scales for each color family. And in the end you can make holes in the color swatches using a punching machine like this. This is an optional step. If you don't have a punching machine you can simply cut the scale along the color swatches so you can easily compare the colors with the reference image and select the ones you need. I also had a keychain lying around so I made holes in the corners of the scales. And fix them all together like this so I don't lose any of them. And now you can use this scale to select colors for any of your references by just sliding it on the respective area like this. And noting down the matching colors on a separate paper. You can use this same process to make these color scales for your Faber-Castell classic colors, Faber-Castell pit pastel colors or even for your graphite pencils if you want. 
I'll be using this color scale in all of my future drawings from now on. Do let me know in the comment section what should I draw next using this color scale. And don't forget to share this technique with your friends. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.